I know some of you are at a place in life right now where you are just like so frustrated. You're frustrated with your nine to five or you're frustrated because you just retired or for a younger generation, you're frustrated if you just got out of college and you can't find a job or you're frustrated with the way that the world is right now with the weather and with politics and with the state of our health and you're just frustrated. I get it. But the way that the tide rolls, and it's always rolled this way, is that that frustration, that time, that moment when you're feeling like you just can't take any more of the bullshit, and I hardly ever curse on this channel, but today is the day when you just can't take any more of the bullshit, it's a reminder to you that pretty soon the bullshit is going to end. And you're going to start seeing all of the loveliness that you deserve. So I'm telling you this this morning because I actually have a hard time thinking this way. I've always had a hard time thinking this way. I can really easily get myself down deep there into the crappiness of every single day and get stuck. And I've got to work to remind myself, wait, wait, Jen, this is just temporary. Just like the set point of our nervous system is to be happy, the set point of the world is to be at peace. The set point of your life is to be at peace, is to be peaceful and joyous and beautiful, filled with all of the things that you could ever want. That's the truth. That's the truth we all need to remember. So today, as I'm sitting in my car here at 6.54 in the morning, I've been up since 4.30. <laughs> I don't like getting up at 4.30 in the morning, but I've been doing it for 26 years. Um, and I've been leaving my house anywhere between 6.30 and 7 o'clock for 26 years. I don't like doing this. If I'm going to wake up that early in the morning, I want to be doing things that I love and that I enjoy. And I'm sick and tired of getting up and doing this now, but... In just a handful of years, I'm not going to have to do this anymore. In just a handful of years, I'm going to be done with the 9 to 5, or in my case, the 7 to 4. And I'm going to get to do things the way that I want, the way that I've dreamed of. I'm going to get to spend my hours and my days and my mornings and my summers and my winters and my springs however I want to. So I want to remind you that... Whatever it is that's bugging you is temporary. You know, my husband always has this very um, happy, um, hopeful image of, of the world and of our lives. And he's always, he said to me since we met 14 years ago, he said to me, the good stuff is right around the corner. We're right there. We're on the precipice of, of all of the great stuff that's about to happen. And still to this day when he says that, I get annoyed with him. I'm like, but we've gone through so much crap. We've gone through so much crap and there's still so much more crap. But he keeps telling me the great stuff is right around the corner. Meanwhile, his car is falling apart. Uh, we have six windows in our house that are broken and don't open. We had to replace our air conditioning. We had to replace our dryer. Uh, I just noticed the paint in our bathroom wall is chipping and there's like stuff falling onto the bathroom counter. And he says, the great stuff is just about to happen. But you know what? He's right. Because we were able to fix our air conditioner. We had the money to buy a new dryer. We're going to refinance our house soon and be able to have some extra cash to take care of a few things that we need to take care of to make our home and our lives easier. Our kids are all adults and they're healthy and they're thriving the best that they can in this world. So when I find myself in those really like negative places, I am thankful for him and for his reminders as annoying as they might be in the moment because I really want to feel the the drudgery that I'm in. I don't know why I do. I just do. I guess because I want to get through it and really savor the, the other end of it. But, but I do need to remind myself to be grateful and thankful that 
Like, things are okay. Things are okay. You are going to be okay. We are all going to be okay. We just have to do the things we have to do. And if we don't like them, we've got to find the thing about them that is good. So I don't like getting up this early in the morning to go to work every morning. I, but I'm grateful that I've got this job because this job and this career that I didn't really want to have to begin with has offered me a really fabulous life. And it's, if I didn't have it, my life would not have been the way that it is. If I didn't have this career as a teacher, when I got divorced in 2008, I wouldn't have been able to take care of myself. I probably wouldn't have felt that I could have gotten divorced. I wouldn't have felt that I could go out on my own. I would have ended up stuck in a marriage that I couldn't get out of, that I didn't want to be in. Because I wouldn't have had my own way to survive. So, you know, I guess what I'm saying is that there's a plan. There's always a plan and you're always on the right track. As long as you're a good person and you have integrity and you have love in your heart and you don't mean to harm anybody and you're, you're just good, you're a nice human, <laughs> you're on the right track and everything's going to work out just fine. Uh, yeah, that's what you need to know. So whenever you're watching this video, whatever time of year, whatever time of day it is, if you're in that moment when you're just feeling like really crappy and you don't want to do the thing, and I'm telling you this as a reminder to myself too, remember I struggle with this also. I am not perfect and I'm not here making these videos for you to say that I am the knower of all things because I'm not. I'm just human like you are. I'm not an influencer. I'm just a person who's sharing my thinking. Um, and now I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, oh, just when you're feeling that way, just, just do the thing and do it with gratitude because on the other side of it, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be just fine. So now it's seven o'clock. I'm still sitting in my driveway because I really don't want to go to work today. It's a Monday morning and I want to be cozied up with my cats. I can see them sitting in the living room window right now, staring at me, wondering why I haven't pulled away yet in their cat mind. But I got to get going because I need to plan my day with 23 seven and eight year old little ones. Okay, do the thing even if you don't want to, because soon you're going to get to do all the things that you do want to do. That's just how the world works. See you soon. Love you. Subscribe, like, and watch whatever these videos are next.